Hey guys, um, this is Miss Smith um, with the Advertising Graphic Design Department. Just want to go over a few things uh, for Comic Con this next weekend. Um, Comic Con begins on Saturday, October the 15th, and finishes on Sunday, October the 16th. We are allowed to set up at 3 p.m. on Friday, October the 14th. I will need four volunteer club members to help me at 3. Uh, it should take an hour, maybe two. Um, so please, uh, when I send out this Google Doc, uh, please put your names under there if you're available to volunteer. We'll, we'll meet at the school and follow each other to the Crown's back entrance. On Saturday, October the 15th, there are three shifts. They are four hours each, 8 to 12, 12 to 4, and 4 to 8. We need a minimum of four design club members to volunteer for each of those shifts. Saturday, October 16th, there are three shifts and then tear down at the end. The shifts are from 8 a.m. to 11.30, 11.30 to 3, 3 to 6, and then tear down from 6 to 7. It usually doesn't take too long. We just have to pack our things up and get out of there and also secure the television that we're borrowing from the um, DME department. So I will be sending out this document uh, for everybody to fill in. We also need a faculty member on each shift. Um, I am covering three of those shifts. Ms. Fennern has volunteered for the Sunday morning shift, so we will need one, two, three, four additional faculty members to fill in the faculty position for the shifts. Now, on to what we will be doing at Comic-Con. Fateful Tech has graciously provided us a 10 by 10 booth that comes with a black curtain. Um, we'll be having our art raffle. We've got our donations. We'll also be posting our artwork up for raffle prizes. We will also be selling the stickers that we did on our Design Challenge 2 with the club. And I will need some assistance on making some more badges for those, or buttons. Um, that's not our only job. Our other job is to recruit for Fayetteville Tech, and there are several departments that want recruitment. They will all be providing us with literature that we can hand out, uh, but I want to give you a quick um, idea of what we you will be required to do while you are working at the booth. So we have several like departments, like I said, we have our High School Connections Department, we have our Continuing Ed Department, and we have our regular um, curriculum department. So the high school connections, there, there will be pamphlets uh, for different areas on the college campus for high school connections and what we do is we, we reach out to younger people possibly you know from ages 12 to, to 16. Uh, high school connections is, is for 11th and 12th graders that want to get four free classes at Fayetteville Tech in any subject that they choose and those classes, if they pass, will go toward an associate's degree if they decide to come back or transfer to another college. Um, so we need to reach out to people when they pass by the booth. We don't want to just let people walk past. It's our job to recruit for the college. Now, as for continuing it, that's usually an older population. So if you see a 40-year-old or a 50-year-old or a 60-year-old that's looking interested at what we have at our booth, there will be continuing ed uh, catalogs available for you to, to hand out to them. Continuing Ed has tons and tons of op options. Uh, you can learn how to do pottery or weld. You can learn how to play the piano. There are so many things. So if you see one of those Continuing Ed ca catalogs around campus in the next week, take a look at it so you'll be prepared to talk about it when you meet with different people as, at the booth. And the other section or department is our our curriculum departments. Uh, the graphic design department has their own uh, booklet that you will definitely be pushing. Um, we will be getting a lot of attention because of the artwork and the raffle. Um, so sell us, sell our department. If you're happy with what we're doing and you, 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 you're probably going to see a lot of artistic people at Comic-Con, go ahead and reach out to them. Walk up to them with a brochure. Uh, talk about the, the curriculum um, and, and all the things that you've learned. But also, if they're not interested in graphic design, you can also sh hand out some different uh, pamphlets that will be on the tables in the booth for other curriculums. Uh, there's so many to choose from. I think there's over 300, actually. 
So there's, if somebody's uh, looking like they're interested, you need to approach them. Don't let them walk away. The other thing for my graphic design uh, club members, we're, we're going to be pushing ticket sales for our raffle. 50% um, of those ticket sales go to Kids Peace, our charity for this, this uh, coming year. So stand out there and, and speak loudly and, and, and go and approach people and, and show them what we have to offer. There's probably over $100 worth of stuff in each raffle basket that we're going to be assembling next week. But also our stickers are for sale and 100% of that profit goes to the club. So that's going to help pay for Halloween parties and um, different functions that we want to do as a club uh, for entertainment. So it's all up to you. Um, I appreciate your time and, and I appreciate you stepping up to assist with this. I also appreciate your commitment and your participation in the design challenges. Um, we, If we don't have enough volunteers that have met the criteria for volunteering at Comic-Con, which was two design challenge submissions and also committing to volunteer at another function besides Comic-Con, we may have to dip into the member list and uh, pick a couple of uh, participants or volunteers that have really shown up at the club even if they didn't participate in design challenges. So people that have stuck around, come to meetings, uh, offered their time to help with uh, things, donated things for the raffle, etc. But uh, if you have any questions, please email me or see me at school. I'm located in BCC 128. So I will be sending out this uh, Google Doc shortly and um, I hope to see a good response as, as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.